Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Mat Mat Dali. In this video, we're going to talk about distance formula. So, whenever we are talking about distance formula, it is given a, any two points in the coordinate plane or the Cartesian plane, wherein A and B are the points, and X sub 1 and Y sub 1 will be the coordinates of A, and x sub 2, y sub 2 will be the coordinates of b. For us to be able to find the distance between a and b or the length between a and b, we're going to use the formula ab is equals to x, the square root of the sum between the squares of the difference between x sub 2 and x sub 1 and y sub 2 and y sub 1. So, for us to be able to understand better, we are going to work on our first example. So, given there here a triangle being drawn in a Cartesian plane, first we, we need to find the coordinates or the distance between the coordinates of A and B. So, we have here A is equals to negative 6 and negative 3. The coordinates of A is negative 6 and negative 3. And for the coordinates of B, we have here positive 6 and 2. Simple as we are just going to um, locate or compute for the distance between A and B. So first is we are going to let the uh, A be, this one become X sub 1 and this one becomes Y sub 1. And this one will be x sub 2 and y sub 2. And then after um, Allah, um, pointing which one is the sub 2 and the sub 1, we are now going to use the formula. So for us to be able to find its distance, we are going to get the square root of the sum of the squares of the difference between the x sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 and y sub 1. So, x sub 2 is 6 minus negative 6. And we're going to get the square of it. Plus, y sub 2, 2 minus negative 3 or y sub 1. Doing the calculation, we have here this one negative 6 minus negative 6. The, um, multiplication of sign, we have here negative times negative. It becomes positive. And 6 plus 6 square plus this one is negative again and, and minus and negative negative times negative still positive so we have here 2 plus 3 square so next thing we do is we resolve mathematically 6 plus 6 is 12 and we get the square of 12 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 and then we get the square of 5 and then the square of 12 is 144 and the square of 5 is 25. 144 plus 25 will give us square root of 169. And the square root of 169 will give us 13. Therefore, the distance between the points A and B will, will be 13 units. Again, from the start. For us to be able to find the distance between two points, for example, we have here example number one, wherein A is, the coordinates of A is negative 6 and negative 3, and B is 6 and 2. So first, we rewrite the formula, um, making each and every coordinates be the x sub 1, the x sub 2, y sub 1, y sub 2. Take note in giving or highlighting which one will be the x sub 2 and x sub 1. By the way, you can interchange. But be careful if you are going to make this one x sub 2, the other or the partner must be y sub 2. The same goes with this one. If you want to make this one x sub 1, then the partner must be y sub 2. A y sub 1, sorry. Next is we are going to get the the sum between the squares of the difference of the x's and the y's. So after getting this, the, after computing or 
evaluating the formula, we are going to have the following 6 minus negative 6 squared plus 2 minus negative 3, and then we're going to square that one. And then afterwards, we are going to have the following 6 plus 6 squared and 2 plus 3 squared. And then 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 plus 3 is 5. We are going to get the square of those numbers. And then 12 squared is 144, and 5 squared is 25. The, therefore, if we add this to, we are going to have square root of 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. Therefore, we can now say that the distance between points A and B will be 13. Let's proceed with example number 2. And example number 2, as you can see, we have here the coordinates between the x and y. The coordinate of x is... negative 4 and positive 5 we have the coordinates of y is 1 and 2 so again um, using the formula we are going to let this the first one be x sub 1 therefore the y 5 here will be y sub 1 the other one will be x sub 2 and then this one will be y sub 2 Next, um, evaluate using the formula. It is the distance between x and y will equals to the square root of x sub 2, which is 1, minus x sub 1, which is negative 4. And then we get the square of that 1, plus y sub 2, which is 2, and 5, 2 minus 5, and then we get the square of that 1. So we have here 1 minus negative 4 will give us 1 plus 4 because negative and negative, we multiply this two, that's why it becomes positive. Then square plus 2 minus 5 is negative 3 and then we get the square of that 1. Next, 1 plus 4 is 5 square plus negative 3 square 5 square will give us 25 plus negative 3 square is 9 and 25 plus 9 will give us square root of 34 first is to check if square root of 34 can be factored out such that uh, it has a factors that has square root we check first if, if if this is a factor of 4. If it is not, then four is, we cannot use 4. Uh, by the way, I'm thinking of numbers that, uh, that has a square root. For example, square root of 4, that's 2. Square root of 9, that's 3. And then after listing down or um, thinking of factors, and if you found out that there's no such factors that will make um 34 or a factor of 34 has a square root therefore let your answer be square root of 34 so by thinking or by analyzing square root of 34 we cannot have a factor or any factor that will give us um square root so i'll just let square root of 34 be the answer so again uh, on our second example, we work on x and y. So for us to be able to find the value or the distance between x and y, we get first the coordinates of x and y. The coordinates of x is negative 4 and 5, and the coordinates of y is y and 1 and 2. Next thing we do is to locate which one will be the x sub 1 and the y sub 1, the x sub 2 and the y sub 2. And then after locating or um, and, uh, evaluating, uh, we're going to use the formula and then we solve for the value of or the distance between that one and then after solving you will find out that we are we have a radical number so first is to um, make this one um, factorable or fact think of a factors of 34 that one of the factor is has a square root so uh, listing down the factors such as 4 9 16 and so and so there's no such factors of 34 that has square root therefore if there's none let be your answer square root of 34 the square root of 34 is um, acceptable 
On our third example, as you can see, um, we have points A, B, and C. For this time, this time around, we're going to prove that uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. For us to be able to prove this one, um, first let's discuss what is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle are triangles that have at least two equal or congruent legs or congruent parts. So for us... To be able to prove that this is an isosceles triangle, we are going to get the distance between A and C and the distance of A and B and the distance between B and C. If we found out um, any two of the legs are equal, therefore, the given triangle is an isosceles triangle. So let's first work with the distance between A and B. Let's write first the the coordinates of a the coordinates of a will be negative 1 negative 1 the coordinates of b will be 3 and negative 4 and for the coordinates of c uh, i'll just write it down c is 2 and 3 but first we are I, I am going to work with the distance between A and B so uh, using the formula for the distance we have here the distance between A and B is equals to or the the length of A and B is equals to x sub 1 uh, let's first um, indicate which one will be x sub 1 and y sub 1. This one will be x sub 1, y sub 1. This one will be x sub 2 and then y sub 2. Again, it is uh, on your prerogative which one you're going to, you want to make sub 1 and sub 2. If you want to make this one x sub 1, make sure that its partner must be y sub 1 also. If you want, this, want to make this one x sub 2, it's okay. J just to make sure that the partner will be the same sub as the excess. So, going back, we have here the length of AB must be equals to X sub 2. I make this one X sub 2. So, that's so, so, so why we have here 3 minus negative 1 square plus um, negative 4 minus negative 1 square. Next is um, 3 minus negative 1 is 3 plus 1 square plus negative 4 plus 1 square and we get the square root of 1 we have here 3 square 3 plus 1 square is 4 square plus negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 square next 4 square is 16 and uh, plus negative 3 square is 9 16 plus 9 is square root of 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. So, uh, let's take take it down. Let's down that the A, B, the distance between A and B is 5. Let's locate or let's solve for the distance of B and C. Okay, for us to locate or to to solve for the value or the distance between B and C, we are going to first indicate which one is X sub 1 and X sub 2. This one is X sub 1, therefore the partner must be a Y sub 1. This one is X sub 2, the partner will be Y sub 2. And then we're going to use that one in our formula. B and C must be equals to the 2 minus 3 square plus... 3 minus negative 4 square and 2 minus 3 is negative 1 and square plus 3 minus negative 4 will make us 3 plus 4 and that becomes 7 square and then we have here negative 1 square will give us 1 and 7 square will give us 49 so, it is 1 plus 49 will give us 50. Square root of 50, again, we are going to think of the factors of 50 that will give us a um, square root. So, we have here 25 times 2. I use 25, why? Because there is a square root for 
25. Then the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, my final answer will be 5 square root of 2. So, earlier we have here, AB is equals to 5. And BC is equals to 5 square root of 2. Now, let's proceed. How about the distance between A and C? Again, our problem here uh, is to prove that the given triangle ABC is an isosceles. We already have the first leg, which is, or the first length of a side is 5. The second is 5 square root of 2. If and when we found out that A, AC is either 5 square root of 2 or 5, therefore, we can now prove that the given triangle is an isosceles triangle. So, let's proceed. As our final, um, final length or final thing that we need to find out the distance. Again, if we prove that they are equal, therefore, the given is an isosceles triangle. So, first, I'll make this one x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So, I'll use the distance formula. AC is equal to... The square root between x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus x, y sub 1 squared. We have here 2 plus 1 squared negative times negative is positive plus negative negative 3 plus 1 squared. And 2 plus 1 will give us 3 squared plus 3 plus 1 will give us 4 squared and 3 squared will give us 9 plus 4 squared is 16 are we done not yet so we are going to solve for this one 9 plus 16 is 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 so the length between um, the points a and c or the distance between a and c is 5 Going back earlier, we have here AB as 5, BC as 5 square root of 2, and AC as 5. Therefore, the given triangle is an isosceles triangle. Why? Because we found out that the two lengths of the legs of the given triangle are equal. Um, based from the definition of an isosceles triangle, at least two legs must be equal. And then... That's the point or that's the time we're going to prove or to say that the given triangle is an isosceles triangle. So that's all for this video. Thank you.